But it's interesting, right? We talk about Iowa. You can tell, right? Juices aren't flowing. Wisconsin, okay. The team that's got a lot of people excited, Nebraska. The second best odds to win the Big Ten West. Donnie, last year this team won three football games. Only one win in Big Ten play. But here is the outrageous thing. In part due to a 56-7 to victory over Northwestern and because they lost every single close game they played, do you know they had a positive point differential in Big Ten play despite going 1-8? and eight? People are hoping that this group is due for some major big-time positive regression. Another 7.5 win total for Nebraska. Casey Thompson from Texas is here. Mark Whipple, the offensive mastermind, if you will, behind last year's Pittsburgh offense. Where are you at on Nebraska? Yeah, Whipple's going to be a lot of fun here. And the one thing that we've shown all throughout his career is the dominance of his offense. Forget about the defense, because obviously you win games on offense and defense, but if you're looking like a team total guy like myself, even a win total guy, you're going to be looking at Nebraska saying there something has to change, and maybe the quarterback changes what they needed. You have Martinez, who runs around ultimately super fast, just never was able to get Nebraska where they needed to get to. So maybe a quarterback change at hands, including Mark Whipple as the coordinator, will help out. If we're taking a look at Kevin, they are tough games on the season, Oklahoma, at Michigan and Wisconsin, it's manageable to get through. There's enough talent on this team. And also, if you're sort of combining the Mark Whipple offense with more of a high-tempo frost offense, this is going to be very interesting to watch it play out. I don't know how the defense will be able to step up and, you know, hey, you know what? We're a little bit down in our statistics because our offense goes so fast. I don't even care about that. I'm just looking at the offense overall for itself, a team total eye-opener for me because, as you said, anywhere Mark Whipple goes, he usually touches that offense and it turns to gold. Even at UMass, UMass stinks. So what? UMass is getting beat felt like 55 to 45 every single week when he was at UMass. So I like this move here to Mark Whipple. It intrigues me a lot. I don't know if they have the horses, but you're asking for an eight and four stretch here in a lower conference there in the Big Ten West. Maybe it's in the cards for them. And also, let's not forget, it's not as if Nebraska is 13 to one to win this out of the division. They're plus 350, only behind plus 170, Wisconsin.